Okay, we are live. Um, welcome to Digital Communication Skills Channel. Today we are with Paolo Moroso, Monica Schmidt. I hope other members of our small group will join us. It's a public group that uh, I've transitioned to my G Plus um, G Suite account and hoping to continue discussions, questions and answers are always of interest no matter where they live so as far as we can connect we will always be curious to discover standpoints use cases experiments and exchange ideas uh, so um, i'll present power moroso um, thank you for being together with us Pao is uh, joining us from Milan. Um, he's a Google Plus Platinum, a product expert and been my first mentor. So it's very special relationship to me. <laughs> I'm always extremely happy to, to meet Pao and talk to him. He's uh, uniquely focused for every word I hear. It, it means a lot of knowledge to me. So I'm super glad you are today with us. Uh, please tell us about your uh, featured book. Thanks, Nina. Hello, Nina, first of all. Hello, Monica. Hello. And uh, I have been on Google Plus uh, since day one, that is uh, since uh, 2011. And over all these years, I've uh, posted a lot of content uh, uh, when uh, collections uh, became available a few years ago, I grouped uh, all this content uh, in a number of uh, topics, including, for example, a collection uh, named Space Apps for Android, uh, which collected uh, uh, reviews, uh, news and updates on uh, astronomy and space app for the Android mobile operating system. I shared my experience, my tips uh, in using these uh, astronomy and space apps. And uh, given Google Plus is going to be shut down soon, I had uh, uh, the, the idea of repurpose all this content uh, as an ebook, to republish all this content uh, as an ebook. I actually had been meaning to do exactly this for a long time, but uh, the shutdown of Google Plus was an additional motivation. And uh, a few days ago, I have uh, published uh, uh, all this content. I put together, for example, uh, the text of the posts, uh, uh, expanded them, uh, uh, categorized them in a number of parts and chapters and so on, and published them to a self-publishing platform uh, named Limpub, which stands for Lean Publishing. Uh, Lean Pub can be used uh, as a traditional self-publishing platform that is for publishing a finished book, a book uh, in a final form you put uh, online for sale. But uh, um, I used Lean Pub for a specific reason. Uh, the group of posts from Google Plus, um, from the, my collection I put together, is not in a final form, it uh, still is in an early draft. And the Limpub uh, specializes in, in, in uh, providing authors with the tools and the workflow for publishing works in progress, that is books that are being, written, being uh, written. And uh, the readers who purchase uh, such a book uh, can have uh, all the updates for free uh, when new content uh, is available. Linpub uh, sees uh, a book in progress as a, a, it, as a startup, uh, for example, a startup in the, in the tech industries uh, where uh, new versions of a product are released frequently and often and often. And uh, the entrepreneurs, or the, uh, the owners of the company, of the startup in, in that case, can iterate quickly and learn from uh, user feedback. In a similar way, an author can publish uh, a book in progress uh, 
uh, expand it, uh, get uh, a new version out uh, frequently and get feedback from users. And that's exactly what I'm doing. Uh, my starting point is the text, uh, the draft I put together from the text of the post I took from my Google Plus collection. And then I'm starting from that. I will expand on this. I remember that uh, you innovated the collection. Uh, first, that, that's uh, very interesting um, that the users get updates exactly like the notifications when we are following a collection. When there's a new post, we, we get the new uh, and we were so happy to with this functionality. Uh, yes, but, the readers uh, yeah? who purchase, who, who buy such a book, uh, uh, can optionally um, uh, decide to receive email notification each time the author uh, publishing publishes a new version of a book in a way similar to um, to how you get a new version of the software application you get for example on an android device a notification a new version of the app is available and uh, in a similar way, a book in progress uh, on LeanPub is uh, updated by the author and the readers can receive email notification. For example, with a change log, a list of the changes the, uh, the author can uh, summarize to, to let the readers know what's new, what changed and so on. Is the structure of the collection helping you to progress with the book? The way you put the collection during those years, is it uh, supporting your present new uh, repurposing with the book? Yes and no. In that, uh, uh, it was a good starting po point. Uh, I, um, I had this, a single source from which to, to get the text of all the posts, but uh, I had to reorganize all of them into chapters and parts of the book that made sense uh, uh, for the subject matter I'm covering, that is uh, space and astronomy uh, on Android. I see. And um, do you find um, useful feedback from um, the users? Uh, I have published the book just uh, a couple of days ago, so I haven't got uh, much feedback uh, yet. But uh, LeanPub provides a number of tools so, from, for this. For example, from the landing page of the book, uh, there is a link for emailing me. And I have set up also an online discussion board, an online forum based on the discourse uh, um, discussion board platform uh, my readers can use for uh, letting me know uh, their feedback, uh, uh, for uh, reporting typos uh, and so on. The discourse uh, discussion forums are, are a tool Limbeck provide to our author for this. Uh, the author can just uh, create uh, the discussion forum with the click in the book dashboard, in the author dashboard. So this is one of the tools uh, uh, LeanPub provides for uh, facilitating this process, this feedback process, the iteration process uh, on the book as it, if it was a sort of a startup. That, that sounds very uh, appealing to me. And uh, to, uh, my question uh, re related to G plus users would be which topics are beneficial for the users to go and start a new book on the platform you are, you, you are suggesting? Um, is it only for certain topics or could each collection be repurposed in the way you did it? Does it depend if it's travel collection, if it's cooking collection, if it's uh, fashion or if it's tutorials? Are you asking me, Nina or uh, Monica or uh, Mom? No, you, because, because I think after you've gone through these initial steps, you already 
And because you know Google Plus and Google Plus users, how they use collections, I think you are the best uh, advisor on how to um, to advise users if it's suitable for every topic or if it's if it's specific. I think any topic is good for uh, uh, publishing a book, especially, for example, how to content, learning content, uh, but even fiction, for example, uh, poetry or, po or maybe serialized uh, uh, stories or novel. Uh, Peter, for example, uh, Peter Quinton published uh, uh, fiction uh, uh, to Google Plus. And he has a similar experience. Maybe you interviewed the, him already for these uh, uh, videos, for this series. Not yet, yes. But, think... but he has a, a big um, commitment for this year. He wants to publish a lot more books exactly on based on Google+. So we've been working about quality content a lot. And in the end of the day, I'm, I'm super glad that uh, authors can move on and uh, receive value from, their, from the time and effort and knowledge we put on the platform. And hi, Bob Dunley. Oh, uh, Miss, uh, uh, <laughs> no, but your voice is also, please um, go out and come back because of the voice. It's okay. Monica, do you have questions to ask Paolo? We can't hear you, Monica. You are muted. Okay, let um... I have to unmute. Okay. <laughs> Okay. And Bob Danley, do you have any questions now? Uh, Paolo um, Moroso has uh, a featured book that he uh, presented and told us a bit how he put on a new platform uh, based on collections. And it looks that each of us can do this job and get value from our work. Do you have uh, a specific question? Uh, actually, I have a statement. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, that, Paolo. That's perfect. <laughs> uh, Paolo, that, that, um, that posting that you had is awesome. Um, I've looked at it. I'm considering doing it myself. I don't know. Um, I'm kind of... Um, excuse me, moving around. I kind of messed no, up. We, we are public. Above and we are live, just to remind you. Okay, not that great. it matters. We our meetings are always for public presentations, so it doesn't yeah. really matter. But just to tell you, <laughs> that's right. Uh, well, I'm good, warts and all. So, so, <laughs> <laughs> so, so I don't have any problem with this being public or anything. Uh, Paulo, uh, it's just really a pleasure to actually uh, hear you and then see you. You've done all. I've followed your postings for a long time in G+. They're always uh, so um, oh informative. And uh, hopefully um, I can take that information that you provided and, and turn it into a product. Uh, you did it with a book. I'm thinking uh, Peter Quinton did it as like little postcards. So I don't know whether I would do postcards or do a book entirely. Um, I like the idea of actually using the Google Plus material for something rather than to go on the dustbin of history and be totally forgotten. Um, it's going to take, it, it's, it appears to me it's going to be take, take some effort though to actually um, format and compile the information so that's where i'm kind of at um i think the the other thing that's kind of constraining me is actually holding true to my commitment which is the website in fact that's why i'm kind of late because i got kind of caught up in formatting that and uh, creating content kind of keeps me busy especially with springtime coming on this is my main uh interest is plant and animal life and obviously you have spring probably just like we do and there's all sorts of cool things to see 
And so that's keeping me really occupied. But uh, I do appreciate all your efforts in providing us with uh, all sorts of good tips um, on how to go forward. And that's basically, I think, what all of us here on eBoard are trying to do is take our passions and make them bigger, better, and ba uh, more far-reaching. So, Thanks, Bob. So, and nature keeps you busy. Yeah, abs absolutely. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, I just, in fact, I was just out on the porch. I was photographing a ground squirrel that just came out of hibernation. You can, <laughs> cool. you can, you can imagine not eating or drinking for several months, uh, what that would do to you, you know, yeah. so, so. And yeah, Bob, uh, Paolo has explained that the platform has uh, facilitating uh, features. For the mm -hmm. book, it's um, making it easy for editing. Uh, while we work with uh, our G plus post and actually you start but you finish with uh, something completely new I guess from what I see with the featured book of Paolo it, it's it's something new it's not it's not exactly the collection we know because it's emerging into uh, a book well, the thing I liked about it is, is that you can actually launch it and not have it have it complete. So mm -hmm. uh, you initially get some material together, get it on there, and then let folks know that, hey, I'm doing this cool little thing. Uh, if you want to pile on or <clears throat> initially get a subscription, you can do that. And in the meantime, me as the author, I can be working on completing it. So I like that. That's really a... a yeah, that's powerful. Yes. Yeah, and it if you has put a it, lot uh, to do mm -hmm, with collections. Yeah. 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 Uh huh. Yep. Sure enough. And if you put it uh, uh, on sale for sale, uh, you can start earning uh, immediately, not just uh, have to uh, to wait uh, any a year or two to complete the book and uh, publish mm -hmm. it in its final form. But when you do. Uh, you can also publish the book on other uh, platforms, for example, to to Amazon mm -hmm. Kindle, to to Apple, and so on. But uh, mm -hmm. uh, until you have a final book, uh, you have a process, a platform, and the market and the marketplace uh, you can use to to make your book available and to iterate and improve it. Mm -hmm. Hey, Paolo, can I ask you what you do for a living? Um, I work in astronomy and space outreach and education. For example, I do mm. uh, lectures, uh, um, educational sessions, uh, observing session of the sky with the telescope, uh, and so on. Uh -huh. Are are you independent, or do you work for an actual company, or what? I work for local astronomy organizations. For example, for the local planetarium. Uh, a few years back for an, for an astronomical museum, for um, um, companies specializing in uh, uh, outreach and education and so on. Uh-huh. Oh, that's interesting. Uh-huh. Do you have Let your own web? Oh, go ahead, Nina. I'm sorry. I, I wanted to ask if Monica is muted uh, to ask her question because she's on the road. And uh, I don't know if, if we can hear her now. Monica? Yeah. Ah, okay. Hello, you all. I found the unmute. I thought you would have to unmute me, but I could do it by myself. <laughs> okay, so, Paolo, uh, it's really a great platform. Very interesting what you told us about it. My question would be, how would you find your audience? I, I guess just around the social media uh, channels we know already or do you have any other special tip on this? Uh, in this respect uh, finding an audience for a book uh, in progress is no different than finding an audience for a self-published yeah. book so you can start from uh, social platforms uh, and uh, discussion boards uh, mm -hmm. uh, guest blogs and so on but what i'm going to do um, in a few months at most is to set up uh, an email newsletter which is uh, an important tool for authors 
Okay. That's interesting. Yes. Thank you, Paolo. And, and would you do that newsletter through your website? No, I use um, a specialized uh, newsletter platform, for example, uh, Revu or um, Substack. I don't know whether you are familiar with them. No, no, I'm, I'm not. I, 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 the one word that sticks in my mind is MailChimp. Have you ever heard of yes. that one? Yes. What, what's, the think... di what's the difference between those, if you could explain that? Yeah, Bob, we... if, we, if you wish, we can continue our private talk just to okay. stop the public uh, that on topic of um, repurposing quality content. Um, hey. I will um, drop the line for the featured book in um, in the description of the video or uh, if you wish to share a screen and show something specific and we are wrapping up for the public um, thank you very ahead. much for having me in your hangout and i will drive on goodbye have, from the have, middle of bavaria have a good thank drive you. monica bye thank monica you. thanks all and thanks nina mm -hmm. all right Okay, so you are not going to share anything specific from uh, the plan? No, I don't have anything specific, thanks. So it's just uh, work and uh, uh, focusing on the topic and progressing with the platform. Thank you, Monica. Thank you, Bob. Bob, it's been uh, excellent to have this uh, transformation so. to quality content and give it a new life. That, that's a awesome. Thank you so much. Thanks. And subscribe to my channel who are watching us. <laughs> I do a lot of interviews and my uh, guests are always super cool people. Thank you. <laughs>